this is going to put us on the map. That's what it is. <laughs> a big shipment today in Columbiana County it took nearly three months to get ladles used in steel making to the area. It weighed roughly 40 tons apiece. It took some special equipment to get them to their final destination. 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti was in Wellsville this morning to watch as the cargo was unloaded. We start work on this project, I think, back in June. This morning, workers at the Columbiana County Port Authority's intermodal facility were busy cutting away thick steel plating from a pair of huge ladles for use in steel making. So the pieces could be offloaded from a barge docked along the Ohio River in Wellsville. It took about three months for the shipment to arrive here from China. It was reloaded off of a vessel. In, onto a barge and at that point it takes about 21 days to get from New Orleans to here. Once free of the barge, workers use specially designed slings made of nylon wrapped in Kevlar fabric to lift the pieces with a crane capable of carrying up to 60 tons. The next step takes a lot longer as crews gingerly lower the 80,000 pound ladle onto a waiting flatbed, making sure it's balanced and centered for the ride to the Timken Company plant in Akron. Although this is one of the largest loads this terminal has handled, traffic here has grown from the days when workers saw just five barges a month. I peaked out this year in September and I did approximately 50 barges in one month. And as one of the last deep water ports in the region, directors predict 2019 will be even busier. With the cracker plants being built in Beaver, Pennsylvania, and the PTT commits in Belmont County, we're geographically blessed to be right in the middle on the Ohio River. Meaning more contracts for this facility. In Wellsville, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.